How not to deal with property damage, the do's and don'ts. Property damage in a rental property is an eventuality both landlords and tenants often face. Dealing with property damage in your rental can be challenging, but handling it with tact, respect, and legal awareness is essential. This post offers comprehensive guidance on the do's and don'ts for landlords and tenants alike. Do's and don'ts for landlords. When managing property damage, landlords should adhere to certain practices. Firstly, regular property inspections are invaluable. These checks help identify issues early on, preventing minor problems from turning into significant damages. Additionally, always maintain open communication with your tenants and establish clear terms in your lease agreement regarding responsibility for damages. Equally, responding promptly to repair requests is crucial. Not only does this build trust with your tenants, but it also prevents further damage from occurring. Lastly, always keep a detailed record of the property's condition, which can be indispensable when dealing with damages or security deposit disputes. However, there are practices landlords should avoid. Never neglect your maintenance responsibilities, as this can lead to bigger issues down the line. Ignoring tenant complaints is another pitfall to avoid. Addressing concerns promptly can help prevent further damage and reduce potential conflicts. Delaying repairs is a definite don't. Timely fixes prevent minor issues from escalating into major problems. Also, don't overlook the importance of adequate property insurance coverage. Finally, while inspections are necessary, don't violate your tenant's privacy rights during these checks, always provide sufficient notice per local laws. Do's and don'ts for tenants. Tenants also have roles to play in managing property damage. Always report damages immediately to your landlord. This allows for prompt repairs and helps maintain the property's overall condition. Also, familiarize yourself with your lease agreement and understand your responsibilities regarding property care. Importantly, tenants should maintain the property well, treating it with the same respect as their home. Furthermore, keep records of any reported issues. This can help resolve any disputes that may arise regarding the damage. Conversely, don't attempt to hide damages from your landlord. This can lead to larger issues and potential conflict down the line. Avoid making unauthorized repairs or alterations, which can result in further damage or even violate your lease agreement. Also, don't ignore your landlord's notices for repair or inspection. Understanding the legal aspects of property damage Both landlords and tenants have legal obligations when dealing with property damage. Understanding these can prevent legal issues and foster a better landlord-tenant relationship. Always stay informed about local and state regulations regarding rental properties. Amid this discussion, it's crucial to mention questions to ask potential tenants. This tool can help landlords screen tenants effectively, reducing the likelihood of property damage. For first-time landlords, don't shy away from seeking advice. Handling tenant conflicts. Tenant conflicts are sometimes unavoidable in property management. They can arise due to various issues, including property damage. In handling tenant conflicts, clear communication is key. Approach conflicts with an open mind and strives to understand the tenant's perspective. Always keep discussions professional, and refer to the lease agreement to clarify any misunderstandings. If conflicts escalate, consider mediation or legal assistance to resolve the issue. Tips for first-time landlords. It can seem overwhelming if you're venturing into the world of rentals for the first time. Learning some tips for first-time landlords can streamline your journey. It's crucial to understand the legalities surrounding rental properties in your area. Build a reliable network of contractors for repairs and maintenance. Perhaps most importantly, develop a comprehensive lease agreement that clearly outlines both parties' responsibilities regarding property damage. Conclusion In conclusion, dealing with property damage in your rental requires tact, open communication, and a clear understanding of legal responsibilities. Whether you're a landlord or tenant, adhering to these do's and don'ts can help maintain the property's condition, foster positive relationships, and prevent potential legal issues.